Show the sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, we have good news for the middleweight division. We got some more good news for the middleweight division, right? And that is, your boy Gennady Golovkin has declined the offer from Canelo and his team. That was that final offer they had the 12 noon or whatever it was, right? They've um, basically declined it. You know, Gennady Golovkin said, no, I don't want that. We've heard about the percentage split. It was supposed to be 65-35 until Canelo failed the uh, two times a doping test in the May 5th fight, got called off. So Golovkin said, I don't want 65-35 no more. I want 50%. And, you know, Oscar De La Hoya said they ain't never doing no fight with Canelo and anybody for 50%. So it went back and forth. We basically know what time it is. But now the final offer was 57.5% and 42.5% for Golovkin. And Golovkin has declined. All right? Probably bad news for some people who really want to see that fight with Canelo and uh, Triple G. But I'm rejoicing. It opened up the middleweight division. It forced Canelo and Gennady Golovkin to fight some of these guys out there that deserve to be fought. You know, with high-profile fights. And it's time to get down now. Now this just shows me that Gennady Golovkin is saying, hey, no, 50%, I'm worth it. I'm the champion with all the belts, and I I, I want to go back and do some things. IBF just stripped me. Okay, well, let me go beat up Darren Jinko. And if Charlo feeling froggy over here with the WBC, then let me go get him. Don't I got Jake Daniel Jacob issues? There's a whole bunch of stuff for Gennady Golovkin to do. Let's just hope it's not going to end up being Marata, like I said it would. As far as Canelo's concerned, it's good somebody is letting him know you're not going to just be in charge just because you got fans, right? You're coming from two, uh, your failed uh, drug test, right? And coming in negotiations, you should be happy to be on the people are considering your fight high profile still. Every time you hear, you see a Canelo article, they like a, a, the most lucrative fight. Well, it's lucky they just got fans. It's like, yeah, was it fans or was it the walking dead out here? You know what I'm saying? That's probably why people look at that. Oh, that's me. Ain't them but zombies. Why is the Canelo fight lucrative? Well, I don't get it. With the best 154 pounder, the best 160, all these people around here, why is that lucrative? So whatever, <laughs> if that's lucrative. But at this point, he was supposed to be fighting Golovkin thinking that he needs it. To, he, not thinking he needs it, but he does. He needs it just as much, right? Because if you're trying to say you're going to fight Jacobs and that fight has fell through, now you're going to have to fight Jacobs. Or people are going to see you not fight him because you're going to fight Gary Spike O'Sullivan. That's what's going to happen on that side. I'm sticking with it. I'm hoping that I'm wrong. I'm hoping that they figure out how to fight Daniel Jacobs because that would be a fight for Canelo to prove something. And while Canelo's proving something, like I hoped that he would, Golovkin should be proving something, beating either Darren Chinko or Charlo. And then they can come back and fight on the next Cinco de Mayo, probably, or whatever. And then let's not forget Billy Joe Saunders is out there with the WBO strap. All these things open up by Gennady Golovkin not accepting this deal, which is good for us boxing fans. Believe me, for the real boxing fans who want to see the best. I, mean, I don't let nobody tell me who's the best and I'm, I got eyes. I don't let the fans and told you. Ain't no tweeting and Instagramming around here. You know, no matter how many of that is going on. It's just what you see You're in boxing. That's the, what's interesting. Who's the best boxer? So we keep it pretty much simple around here. Now, let's see what happens going forward in this middleweight division. That is going to be very interesting to see who these guys are going to fight in their next fights and what's going to happen going forward because maybe we might get some good news about something soon. I think that was good, pertinent news. I think Triple G should uh, stick to his guns here. Now, before I go off, let me just say this. The last thing that I read was, uh, you know, Oscar De La Hoya said, said we'd probably send him a Hail Mary. For those Americans, you know, it's a pass at the end of a football game. You know, when there's no seconds, you just throw it in the end zone and hope somebody jump up and get catch it. All right? Or get deflected and you catch it in the, in the, in the end zone. All right? Last minute thing. You know, for the, for the Europeans, it's a last minute goal. 
or something. Dude just threw it way out there and the dude kicked it in from 30 meters. You know, something like that. That's a Hail Mary. What he means is that he's going to send him another deal, another some, some, uh, some more money, and see if that works. But what we do know, it ain't going to be 50-50. So let's see what happens going forward. That's good news for us middleweight fans. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.